very good point students uh, previous class we will discuss about the climate you know so just you remember what is climate so the climate means is nothing but the weather pattern you know the climate means nothing but the average weather pattern taken a long period taken a long period the average weather pattern taken over a long period say the about the 10 or 20 or 50 or 100 years you know that is called the climate you know so in the book the page number 71 there are given the one table you know the table the 7.2 and 7.3 you know the table the 7.2 given the jammu and kashmir and 7.3 given the kerala in the one of you know so first we given the climate conditions at the two phase in india so first we are given the climate conditions Just, you know you know what is the climate in jammu and kashmir you know most part of the year very cold okay and what are the climate in kerala in the one of you know the most part of the year is hot and wet you know so now one comparison you know how do you find out the mean temperature you know how do you find out that mean temperature how do you find out that mean temperature so first they are given the two steps you know first step we find the average of the temperature you know first step the average temperature the average temperature during the month during the month you know how do you calculate the mean temperature uh, first you calculate you know first we uh, first we find out the average of the temperature average of the temperature during that month okay and second second one you do the first one the average temperature during the month the next one the average temperature the average temperature the next one the average temperature such average temperature over the many years over the many years so how we calculate the mean temperature you know the first one you know the first one the average first we take the average temperature during the month for example january february march you know first we find out that the temperature during the month particular month only and next is that to find out you will find out that average temperature over a many year more than 10 or 20 or 100 years okay so that gives that mean temperature that gives the mean temperature okay wow. so next one you know the climate in jammu and kashmir and kerala you know what are the climate is occur in jammu and kashmir in kerala you know so first you differentiate between the jammu and kerala you know the jammu and kashmir is always cold you know the jammu and kashmir is the most of the years is always cold okay and so there is a moderate climate and in kerala in tiruvannamalai in kerala you know so there is a very hot okay what well, is a hot and wet climate in kerala okay well. so the jammu and kashmir is cold regions and the kerala is a hot and wet climate in india okay and similar data and some other examples you know the western india okay well the western part of india for example the rajasthan for example is the rajasthan okay well so this rajasthan only is occur in the desert region only you know the rajasthan is occur only in the desert regions okay well so this is 
Rajasthan, the most of the years, you know, the most part of the years occurring in that high temperature, occurring in that high temperature. Which was the most part of the year, the desert will be occurred in that high temperature. Okay, occur in that high temperature. So that's why we are saying that Rajasthan is so hot. Okay, well, so hottest to face because that region is surrounding the, the sand is the main point and occurring in that high temperature. Occurring in that high temperature. Okay, well. And that month of the years, you know, during the winter season, during the winter season, the last few months reduce the temperature. The last, you know, when we start the winter season, you know, so during that time, the temperature is quite is low in that Rajasthan. Okay, and that region, so that region is receiving that very that low. Rainfall only, very that low rainfall or the very little rainfall only in occur in Rajasthan. Okay, very little rainfall only in Rajasthan. Okay, wow. So that's why, so that climate, you know, so that's why the Rajasthan climate is always so hot and wet climate. So that's why the Rajasthan is always so hot and wet climate. Okay, wow. Hot and dry. Okay. In next one, the northeastern part of India, the northeast part of India, it always receiving that some rain. It always receiving the rain. The most of the years is receiving the rain. So therefore, we can say that climate is northeast is wet. Okay. Possible 
because of that adaptation because of that adaptation is very important adaptation means the sahavamit okay about that adaptation is very important for all the living organism We are living in plant region. Why we are not living in the polar region? Because we are not adopt that condition. Okay, boy. In our body, that adopted in this condition only, in this climate conditions only. You know, for example, in India is a moderate climate. You know, like the six month hot and six month is um, rain or wet. So in India is a moderate climate. So we are living in this climate conditions only. In our body adapted in this condition, so in our body cannot adapted in that jamun country in that like the polar region. Okay, wow. So the different kinds of organism it can survive in that different places there depending upon that adaptation. Depending upon that adaptations, you know. So what is the meaning of that adaptation? You know, what is the meaning of that uh, adaptation? Okay, wow. The presence of species. The presence of specific features or sudden habits. Okay, ma. The the presence of specific features or sudden habits. Okay, what is the meaning of presence of specific features or sudden habits? Okay. So particular living organism it can survive only in the particular place because that animal it can easy to adapt in that condition. Okay, ma. So that's why that animal it can survive in that place only. Okay, ma. So the specific features or certain habits which are enabled, which are enabled to live in. Both plants and animals live in both plants and animals in its surrounding. In its surrounding. Okay, ma. So that is called the adaptation. It is very important to work with it. So the adaptation means what? The specific features of certain habit. The specific features of certain habit. We can unable to live in the both. You know, unable to live in that both plants and animals. It live in that surrounding is known as called that adaptation. Surrounding is known as called what? Adaptation. You know. So how much is possible? For example, I told you know that. So there are such kinds of animals which can survive in the desert. For example, the camel. You know, the camel. It can survive in the desert region. Okay, but well, how is it possible that animal having some that habit or some character or some habit? Okay, so that way that animal it can survive in desert regions. Okay, but well, in the polar regions, you know, like the polar bear or polar fox, you know, there is such kind of animal it can survive in that regions because. That animals it can adapt. How much it adapt? That animals naturally having the thick fur. Okay, ma. That one is thin, but the number thick fur. So that's why that animal it can survive in that region. Okay, ma. So we are we cannot survive in that region. Okay, ma. We can survive in this plains region only. The plains or mountain or uh, like that. Uh, Desert region only. Okay, but we are not adopting that condition. So that's why we are living plain region. Okay, but such kinds of organism. So the different kinds of organism are living in that at in that atmosphere. You know, in the different regions. The such kinds of organism are living water and land, a desert and polar region itself. Okay, but in this topic we will discuss about only the two. And one is here the polar region animals, and next to it the tropical regions. Okay, ma. Wow. So the one is the polar region. The one is the polar regions. So you know the polar regions is naturally situated in the poles like the North Pole and South Pole. You know, just you imagine it. Oh, you know, just you imagine it. You know, the North Pole is located at the top of the earth. And the south pole is located in the bottom of that. Okay, ma. 
so the polar regions may you know the such kinds of living organism it can survive only in the polar regions that polar region situated in the poles like the north pole and south pole okay in in the many of the countries you know the many of the countries in polar regions like that greenland or finland or iceland you know norway sweden etc okay was so this is the polar region countries and the next one the tropical rainforest region the tropical regions okay wow so the tropical regions means so this climate condition is a moderate climate because the hot and wet or rain itself in that occur in that the tropical rainforest regions okay wow so the most of the condition in world like that india malaysia and indonesia brazil kenya and uganda and nigeria so these are the countries is located in that the tropical rainforest regions okay wow so the such kind of animal it can survive in that uh, polar regions and such kind of animals living in that the tropical rainforest regions in the world okay wow so the previous class we will discuss about the what what are the animals living in the polar regions and what are the animals living in the tropical rainforest region so that the animals you know specifically that animals have some of the special habits so that way that animals it can survive in that regions okay we will discuss in next class okay thanks